In the vast landscape of television history, there exists a precious gem that has nestled its way into the hearts and memories of Manya Gem by the name of the Facts of Life. Ah, do you recall that moment when your curious eyes first locked onto the screen, casting you into a world brimming with laughter, tears, and invaluable life lessons? Perhaps it was the late night reruns that whispered tales of camaraderie and growth, or maybe it was that one lazy afternoon when you stumbled upon the trials and triumphs of Edna Garrett and her spirited band of young women. Oh, the echoes of their laughter still resonate, intertwining with your own experiences. The dormitories of Eastland School became your haven, and the characters your steadfast companions. Joss' undeniable coolness, Blair's flair for the dramatic, Tootie's infectious enthusiasm, and Nate Ali's witty charm, they were more than fictional faces. They were reflections of ourselves, our journey through adolescence, and into the tapestry of adulthood. And who could forget the moments that left an indelible mark? The giggles shared over midnight snacks, the tears shed during heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and the unforgettable life lessons imparted by Mrs. Garrett herself. Each episode was a snapshot of growth, a mosaic of emotions that mirrored our very own lives. Now, as we journey back to those halcyon days, let us delve into the realm of fascinating facts that surround this beloved series. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes that shimmer with the magic of nostalgia, to the cultural impact that rippled through generations, stage is set to explore the depths of the facts of life like never before. So, my fellow traveler through the annals of television history, brace yourself for a nostalgic expedition. Together, we shall uncover the hidden gems and untold tales that have woven this show into the fabric of our existence. Ready to dive in? Let's embark on this captivating journey of discovery. Of discovery. Of discovery. The facts of life, reuniting a beloved cast after 25 years, the iconic 1979 TV series, The Facts of Life, left an indelible mark on audiences with its heartwarming tales of friendship and growth. At the core of its success was the ensemble cast that graced screens from 1980 to 1986. Charlotte Ray, Lisa Welchel, Kim Fields, Mindy Cohn, and Nancy McKeon. These five talented actors portrayed a diverse group of young women navigating the trials and tribulations of adolescence at Eastland School. Decades later, in 2011, fans were treated to a heartwarming surprise. The original core cast, who had become household names, reunited for the first time in 25 years at the TV Land Awards. With an air of nostalgia, they stepped back into the limelight to accept the Pop Culture Award, a testament to the lasting impact of their beloved show. This reunion was a poignant reminder of the show's enduring appeal, sparking waves of nostalgia for a generation that grew up alongside these characters. Each cast member had pursued their own paths since the show's end, with careers spanning various fields, but the camaraderie and chemistry between them remained palpable as they shared the stage once again. Beyond the spotlight, the cast's real lives diverged from their on-screen personas. In a particularly memorable episode, Blair, portrayed by Lisa Welchel, reveals her atheism stemming from her parents' divorce. Interestingly, off-screen, Welchel is a devoted Christian, highlighting the distinction between an actor's portrayal and their personal beliefs. As fans rewatch episodes and reminisce about the show, one peculiar casting choice stands out. Pamela Adlon, who played the character of Kelly, appeared markedly younger than the rest of the girls. Yet, in a twist of irony, Adlon shared the same age bracket as Nancy McKeon and Mindy Cohn, and was even three years senior to Kim Fields. The facts of life prove that television has the power to shape perceptions, bridge gaps, and bring people together. Its cast members, who once embodied the struggles and triumphs of youth, continue to remind us that growing up is a universal experience, transcending time and generations. When the show failed to crack the top 30 in its first season, writers Linda Marsh and Margie Peters assumed the reins. Under their skilled pen, the facts of life transformed, becoming a quintessential hit of the 1980s. The series, which had a humble debut in 1979, found its stride with Marsh and Peters at the helm, delving into the lives of the Eastland schoolgirls with newfound depth and humor. The duo's creative direction not only secured the show's spot in television history, but also endeared the characters to a broader audience. Mindy Cohn's serendipitous entry into the show's cast is a tale that mirrors the show's themes of friendship and fate. 
Without even auditioning, Cone's chance encounter with Charlotte Ray and the tandem producers while researching at Westlake School for Girls led to her role as Natalie. Ray's emotional connection to Cone prompted her to advocate for Nate Alley's inclusion, invoking memories of an old friend from her past. The decision added a layer of authenticity to the ensemble, solidifying the show's genuine exploration of adolescent life and its challenges. However, not all episodes have enjoyed equal airtime due to their controversial subjects. Episodes like Dope, delving into drug experimentation by Sue Ann, and Breaking Point, addressing the sensitive topic of suicide by new student Cynthia, remain rarely seen on television due to their intense themes. Despite this, The Facts of Life stood as a groundbreaking series that candidly approached the complexities of growing up paving the way for future teen-oriented dramas. In retrospect, The Facts of Life resonates as more than just a sitcom. It's a cultural touchstone that evolved beyond its initial struggles, exemplifying the power of adept writing and meaningful character connections. And as the show's legacy endures, so does the wisdom of its lessons, a testament to the enduring strength of television storytelling. Telling, telling, telling. Evolution of the adolescence, Hollywood's age-old traditions persist on screen in the landscape of 1970s television. The Facts of Life emerged as a prominent sitcom that addressed the trials and tribulations of adolescence in a boarding school setting. While the show garnered popularity for its relatable narratives, behind the scenes, a less discussed aspect of Hollywood's history was at play, the pressure to maintain a specific appearance, especially for young female actors. During the initial seasons of the series, a peculiar practice unfolded. Natalie and Blair, portrayed by Mindy Cohn and Lisa Welchel respectively, found themselves taping down their developing chests to preserve their youthful appearances. Lisa Welchel, reflecting on those times, starkly noted, the facts of life were not allowed on the facts of life. This sentiment resonated beyond the show's set, echoing through the experiences of Janet Jackson on Good Times, Andrea McArdle on the set of Annie, and even Carrie Fisher on the iconic Star Wars set. This phenomenon was by no means exclusive to the facts of life. From Anissa Jones of Family Affair to Judy Garland during the filming of The Wizard of Oz, this age-old tradition seemed to persist in Hollywood, shaping the appearance of young girls on screen. Even as the years rolled on, this practice endured, a testament to the industry's often unseen pressures. However, as societal norms evolved, so did Hollywood's perspective. A pivotal moment arrived when Nancy McKeon entered the scene. In 1979 to 1980, McKeon's appearance in a Hallmark commercial showcased her ability to evoke genuine emotions on cue. This caught the attention of the show's producers, who were in the process of revamping the series. At this juncture, NBC chairman Fred Silverman, inspired by the success of Little Darlings, envisioned a new dynamic for the cast. Nancy McKeon, embodying a Christy McNichol-esque quality, was deemed the perfect addition. Her portrayal of Joe would later become an integral part of the show's trajectory. The series, however, wasn't just about casting choices and appearance-related challenges. Behind the scenes, values and attitudes were shaping the show's content. According to an Entertainment Weekly article, an anti-gay joke once found its way into the script. In a pivotal moment, Charlotte Ray, the show's esteemed matriarch, Charlotte Ray, exercised her authority. She swiftly vetoed the joke, firmly asserting, we do not make fun of people's sexuality on this show. In a time when such topics were often treated insensitively, Ray's stance underscored the show's commitment to responsible representation. As the facts of life ventured through the late 1970s and beyond, it left an indelible mark on television history. Beyond its laughter-inducing narratives, it unwittingly shed light on the intricate interplay between Hollywood's enduring norms and evolving values. The show, like the lives it depicted, navigated its own set of facts about life in the entertainment industry. In the end, the facts of life stands as a reflection of its time, embodying both the challenges and progressions that defined that era. And as Hollywood continues to evolve, these stories serve as reminders of the complex tapestry woven behind the scenes, reminding us that for every fact of life presented on screen, there are countless others that remain hidden from view. In view. In view. In view. The facts of life inspires hope amidst turmoil in the late 1970s. As television navigated a sea of sitcoms, the facts of life emerged as both a source of entertainment and an unexpected wellspring of inspiration. 
While it might have seemed like just another show in the vast landscape of television, it left an indelible mark on its viewers, demonstrating the power of representation and storytelling. At the heart of its success was Mindy Cohn, whose portrayal of Natalie Green resonated deeply with audiences. Beyond the screen, Cohn's impact reached extraordinary heights. In interviews, she has recounted a remarkable instance that illustrated the profound effect the show could have on its viewers. Cohn received a letter from a girl who was grappling with thoughts of suicide. This young viewer happened upon the episode titled Breaking Point, an installment that tackled heavy themes with the show's trademark sensitivity. The girl's outlook took an unexpected turn as the episode's inspirational message took hold, leading her away from the brink. It was a testament to the show's capacity to touch lives beyond the realm of entertainment. However, it was not just its narratives that set the facts of life apart. Jerry Jewell's presence on the show marked a milestone for television. Jewell, who portrayed Jerry Tyler, was the first actress with cerebral palsy to have a regular role on television. Her inclusion not only broke down barriers, but also widened the spectrum of representation, showcasing that talent knows no physical bounds. Jewel's embodiment of resilience added a layer of authenticity to the show's diverse cast, redefining the possibilities of on-screen inclusion. The series also witnessed a remarkable reunion that delighted fans of two iconic shows. Charlotte Ray, who had left different strokes to join the cast of The Facts of Life, returned to her roots in a cross-show episode. In season six seconds, the wedding, Ray's character, Edna Garrett, stepped back into the world of different strokes, bridging the narrative gap between the two series. This crossover event not only provided a nostalgic treat for longtime fans, but also underlined the interconnectedness of the television landscape. As we reflect on the facts of life, it's clear that its impact reached far beyond its runtime. From saving lives to pushing boundaries of representation and rekindling beloved connections, the show's legacy persists. It's a reminder that television, at its best, can be a catalyst for change and an unwavering source of hope. As we bid adieu, my fellow explorers of nostalgia, to the captivating realm of the facts of life, let the echoes of Mrs. Garrett's wisdom and the camaraderie of Eastland School continue to resonate in the corridors of your mind. Each episode was not merely a glimpse into the lives of fictional characters, it was an invitation to unravel the layers of our own experiences. Remember the ups and downs of Blair, Joe, Tootie, and Natalie. Those were the threads that wove into the tapestry of our own friendships and youthful adventures. As the theme song fades into the recesses of memory, take a moment to embrace the moments you've cherished, the laughter you've shared, and the lessons you've imbibed from this iconic series. Did it serve as a mirror to your own coming-of-age narrative, or perhaps a comforting escape from reality? The familiar halls of Eastland remain a place where we discovered not just the facts of life, but the delicate hues of our emotions, aspirations, and the beauty of growing up. But our journey doesn't end here. It's time for you to share your side of the story, your cherished memories, those belly-aching laughs, or even the profound insights that the show may have unveiled. In doing so, you breathe life into the very essence of the facts of life, transforming it from a mere TV series into a shared reservoir of experiences that span generations. So, dear kindred spirits, let's keep this conversation alive. Your thoughts are more than just words. They are the vessels that carry the essence of this cherished show into the future. Thank you for allowing me to join you on this reflective voyage. Until our narratives intertwine again, remember that life's most extraordinary tales are often painted with the brush strokes of the ordinary, much like the everyday magic of the facts of life. Yours and shared memories.